Hello guys, welcome to another week of photo news. If you guys is the first time being here, welcome. If you guys have been here before, well you know how this format works. I tell you a bunch of photo stories that happen throughout the week. I have a bunch of them, so let's go ahead and get on with it. The first one is about a chipmunk, a wild chipmunk posing for Star Wars photos. I saw this, I thought it was really cute, and my first thought was automatically, yeah, he did this in, you know, Photoshop afterwards, but according to the article, no, he didn't. And so, the article says he had no composites of any images, so he didn't do it in Photoshop like that. He may have adjusted levels in Photoshop, but he did not compile the pictures together in Photoshop, which I find that even better and really cooler for a simple reason. <laughs> To get a wild chipmunk to do this, you actually have to probably spend many hours just waiting for the right moment and hoping for the right results, and they're really nice. Check them out. My next story is about Lens Baby, and they're wanting to get into the iPhone category with their lenses now. Lens Baby, if you don't know about them, they have a creative lenses, you know, that they have. And they have two lenses out for an iPhone now. One's, well, here's the photos right here. The one is called, well, it's called a Creative Mod Mobile Kit. And it's made mainly for the iPhone 6. And they have a bracket for it. It's all that stuff. And it's easy to use. It comes with two lenses. The Lens Baby 20 is, gives you a large sweet spot of focus. And then gradually blurs everything around it where the other one gives you like a star pattern everywhere else around it. These photos are kind of cool and if you want something creative other than using your creative filters inside your smartphones um, you can go ahead and do that with these. My next my next story for you is about Joni Nimanali. I probably butchered that name. It's J-O-N-I which I know that's Joni. But N-I-E-M-E-L-A and he does these macro photos that are really cool. What it is is it's a macro photos of he does these macro photos which look really cool and everything. It's of a certain type of fungi. I can't remember what kind of fungus it is but that's what it is. Uh, he also does some landscapes with macro photos too which are really neat. My next story for you is about GoFish and this is a action camera and yeah I know well thinking there's so many action cameras out there right now well this one's designed to go on your actual fishing stuff you know your line to go out and throw it in the water and stuff like that to capture a the fish biting your hook pretty much so I think that's pretty cool so if you're a fisherman guess what now you have another tool in your arsenal that you can look and find your fish that really wants your food off of your hook. My next one for you is about Canon and they have released a new camera that is goes up to 4 million ISO. This camera is called the MF20 F-SH and it's capable of taking almost darkness photos. In the words of Canon, delivers exceptionally high sensitivity to capture full HD video with a minimum subject illumination of less than 0 .0005 lux. So that's extremely low light. It can go up to 4 million ISO. I'm assuming that the 4 million ISO is grainy. But this camera is also not very big. It's actually smaller than the DSLR itself. So uh, congratulations Canon. It's 30 grand though if you want to buy this camera. So. And my final story for you is about DaVinci Resolve 12. It's in its beta version test right now. You can go, actually go over there and try it for free uh, with the Express Edition of it. So if you need a video editing software that has a linear editor plus all of DaVinci's color grading in it, go check it out. It should be pretty cool. Other than that, that's all I have for you this week. If you like what you see and stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're a new user. If you're not a new user, tell me what you think about this stuff in the comments below. Also, I have Friday videos off to the side and Tuesday's videos off to the side. Every Tuesday is a photo news and every Friday is something about general photography that I teach you. Until next time, peace out. Bye.